Hey, what's going on guys? Javier here with Minimalist Tech. So I've had this one planned for quite some time. In today's video, I'll be taking you through the entire makeover process for my wife's desk setup and space. I'll talk about how we designed it, which products are used, and a quick overview. She's a casual gamer that wanted a space with a relaxing ambience and pleasing aesthetic, all while maintaining and adding functionality. The goal here was to revamp the entire space to make it unique to her as well as more comfortable and enjoyable. Taking a look at her current setup, it is functional, but it's old. She's using an old 1080p Samsung display, an old Razer mouse from 2011, and a knockoff red switch keyboard. Not to mention the chair would just sink on its own sometimes. The only things we'll be keeping from this setup is her gaming PC and the desk itself. For us, the planning was super simple. We didn't want to spend too much time or money on it. My wife took to Pinterest and started gathering pins of all the stuff she felt drawn to, whether it be color schemes, chairs, or simply the aesthetic. Another goal was to go wireless where possible, mainly to have the space as multi-purpose as could be. Once she got all that together, we went through some ideas and landed on a pink, gray, and white color scheme. With that, she left the rest to me. Now, I love building out setups. I spend way too much time on social media, gathering inspiration and getting ideas. For me, this was super fun to do. I know there's programs and apps for designing this, but honestly, I just took a bunch of screenshots of products I thought would fit and I tossed them into Apple Notes. I did a quick sketch up on my iPad and landed on this design. It did change a little bit through the buying phase since the global supply chain can be a little limited right now, but hey, that's okay. We got what we could. But once I found everything we needed, we were good to go. With all the planning out of the way, the first thing I did was remove all the old stuff and give the entire area a good cleaning. Going in, I found a new home for the monitors, keyboard, and mouse. It's always a good idea to reuse or recycle old tech where possible. With a quick wipe down, sweep, and Swiffer, our blank canvas was ready to go. So before jumping into the desk setup itself, I decided to install all the things I knew wouldn't be moving. My wife's been talking about having a mirror for ages, so I figured now would be a good time to snag one. I picked this one up from Ikea, and I mounted it on the wall. It really helped lighten up the area more and give it a more roomy feel. I figured a floating shelf would go perfect as well. She could put books, photos, plants, or whatever else up there. I also left room for a pegboard, which I've seen to be super popular. Happy IKEA made these readily available. Organization is key to making any setup beautiful. I left that to install after the monitor. One of the most important things we upgraded was her chair. With any setup, a good chair is a must have, especially considering the amount of time we spend seated. We actually got pretty lucky with this one since it was the last one available, but it's quite literally the perfect color. For the price, it's actually shockingly sturdy and the quality is equally impressive. For a display, I wanted to keep it within the budget range in terms of price. Around the new year, there was still a huge amount of Boxing Day deals kicking about. Now, I've never heard of the brand Karui, but this 2K 144Hz display was too well priced to pass up. As a casual gamer, this display was more than enough for my wife and it came out to 400 bucks Canadian, which is about 315 US. I'm usually pretty apprehensive on trying brands I've never heard of, but honestly, Amazon is great for returns or warranty replacements, so we'll see how this one goes. Upon setup, I was actually super surprised by the quality. I vase and mounted it on this inexpensive monitor arm from Vivo. The white fits the Colorwell scheme, and I use a black one myself in my setup. The monitor input is plenty for her needs, and it looks great while gaming. Colors look good, refresh at 144 is great, definitely a good pick and it ticks all the boxes. Moving over to the keyboard, this one was by far the biggest shock for me. I'm a total beginner when it comes to mechanical keyboards. I've only personally used a couple and I was super impressed by this RK61. Upon opening this up, I saw this thing was absolutely tiny. My wife loves the size and it's perfect for the setup. Coming in at 95 bucks Canadian, again, this one also ticks all the boxes. It's wireless, mechanical, it's pretty to look at, it's everything she needed. Shocking to me actually was the build quality and the blue switches. I can't express it enough. The keyboard is an absolute pleasure to use. My wife really didn't care for RGB, but it is backlit and has a couple different lighting patterns to enjoy. This thing is also easily charged with USB-C. I'll probably be doing a separate video on this keyboard because I'm so in love. So keep an eye out for that one. So since my wife was already used to Razer, we went with another Razer mouse for the new one. 
I personally use Razer for gaming myself, so it is a brand I trust. We went with this white Razer Orochi, Oroki, I'm not sure how you say that. It's 75 bucks. Similar to the keyboard, it also ticked all the boxes. For 75 bucks, the build on this mouse is pretty decent. It's super lightweight and the buttons are super tactile. One downside though, it isn't rechargeable. This works off of either AAA or AA batteries, but honestly, we just picked up this rechargeable battery set from Ikea for under 10 bucks. It connects with this tiny dongle for low latency gaming, and so far it's worked really well. For audio, we kept it simple. We already had this Nest Mini in the bedroom and this tiny Bluetooth speaker. They fit the theme, so we threw it in there. Sometimes it's nice to plug in the old iPod too. She definitely needed a new headset, so we got this white and pink one from Red Dragon. This is one of the things we decided to just go wired on. Looking at some of the prices on some of the other headsets, they seem to bump up quite a bit once you go wireless. Plus, it's white and pink, the color scheme fits perfect, so we saved a couple bucks. Still, this headset came out super practical and a huge upgrade compared to the old headset. The microphone quality is mountains above this old 3-in-1 she had, and the sound quality is simply incomparable. Of course, the hint of pink makes this a nice addition to the entire setup. The Nest Mini is a good piece of smart home tech, easy for timers, alarms, music, and Google Assistant. It's minimal, and it does the job well. So the main powerhouse behind the setup is this pre-built PC from CyberPower. This was purchased back in 2018 and has been mostly solid ever since. Although the GPU died about a year ago, so we had to replace it with an RTX 1660. Overall, the system has all the specs for casual gaming and can handle any task my wife would need. Again, with 32 gigs of RAM, an i7, and an RTX 1660, this should be lasting her a long time. Almost equally important to a setup is lighting, decor, and personal effects. This really allows you to showcase some of your personality within your own setup. We added this simple diffuser that makes the entire room smell great, fairy lights to help a relaxing atmosphere, and some greenery to brighten up the space. Again, a primary reason we went wireless is to easily free up the desk space when needed. My wife recently got huge into puzzles, so moving stuff out of the way makes that possible. We picked up a felt puzzle saver to be able to pause and continue freely. She's also really been into these adult coloring books. There's nothing better than a hot drink and coloring in your favorite curse word. One thing we really didn't worry about this time around was any sort of cable management. That's definitely something that we're probably gonna get done within the next coming weeks. But overall, my wife is beyond happy with her space. I really love projects like these. While we did the whole thing right out of the gate, we could have definitely done this piece by piece. It's nice that every evening after a long day of work, my wife is happy to have her own space to unwind. Hopefully some of you have taken some inspiration from this setup. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're interested in similar content, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.